Irena Sendler was a very real and very brave young woman. It seems almost unreal that one person could have done so much. Irena Sendler was a social worker, a Catholic social worker in German-occupied Warsaw during World War II. Her job allowed her passage in and out of the infamous Warsaw Ghetto, where half a million Jews lived in crowded conditions. The more she saw, the angrier she became. And I think that's kind of an amazing quality. That's something very deeply angry about inside someone that's willing to, to do that. Irena Sandler developed a daring, dangerous plan to smuggle Jewish babies and children out of the ghetto so they might live. She and her network of underground helpers, almost all of them women, faced arrest and death daily. Stefania, we are at war. You are a soldier now. Babies are hidden in boxes. <laughs> Older children are guided through secret tunnels. Children, this is Angela. With forged papers and new names, many of the babies and children are placed in convents and orphanages. Others are adopted by Catholic families. Irena Sandler? I am. Eventually, the Gestapo trapped and arrested Irena Sandler. She was jailed and interrogated for three months. She betrayed no one. Even though Irena Sandler and her sisters in smuggling saved the lives of 2,500 children, she sought no special recognition. As she put it, the only way she knew how to live through that time was to do what she did. It wasn't a choice. Action! The courageous heart of Irena Sendler was filmed not in Warsaw, it's too modern looking now, but in Riga, Latvia, where parts of the city looked like they did back in 1945. The weather was brutal, but the cast and crew didn't seem to mind. They were on a mission. Goran Wiesnik from the TV series ER plays one of Irena's allies in saving all those lives. I have to say it has, it has, the, uh, it has the happy ending uh, in the midst of all this craziness, you know, something good happens and it's actually biographical. Russ Patrick for CBS, Riga, Latvia.